Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for my final Elden Ring permadeath video. I have my last character here. Named him Vincis using a fantasy name generator. He is a confessor, which is kind of poetic because it reminds me a lot of Bloodborne, which is the only other From Software game I've played at the time of doing this permadeath series. Starting off with the Stone Sword Key. I don't think I'm going to be able to use it, but why not, just in case. And for my base template, I'm going with Truth Seeker, an austere pilgrim. This is it, guys. We're going to see after this, after uh, this character dies, who of all the classes was my best character. You know, I want to try something, though. I do want to try something. This guy, when I first started this permadeath series, this Vare guy, you meant to talk to him, but he really annoyed me, and I'd never tried this before, so I want to see what happens if uh, I go up and just kill him. Can I stab him? There we go. Okay. It looks like we we might actually have to have a boss fight. I was not expecting that. What is he hitting me with a bouquet of flowers? What are you doing? Oh, okay. I figured out a way to cheese this fight. If I just walk over here, he uh, it will attack me like once or twice, and then just tr try to walk back to his little area. So, as far as a permadeath strategy goes, if you guys are trying to do Elden Ring permadeath and you want to kill this guy for no reason in particular. I tried something really risky and almost died there. Uh, if you want to try killing this guy and you don't want to die, just try to bring him over here and eventually he'll start trying to walk backwards. Although he's fighting me now. So I don't know. Maybe I messed this up. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. We're, we're messing with him. We're confusing him, okay? I gotta say, this Confessor class looks pretty cool. It, uh, I've already said it reminds me of Bloodborne, but I think of all the starting classes this one might look the coolest what is he sending stop sending flies after me stop it no no ah i tricked them hold on hold on he's not attacking me let me just scoot over here oh meant to get the critical didn't get it hold on i don't know what happens if we kill this guy i'm pretty sure we're not supposed to but got him what was that? Get out of here. Now, back when I first started this permadeath series, I got killed to rats over here. Now, the thing is, the reason I was even going down here to begin with is that if you're sneaky enough, you can make your way over to this door. Oh, gotta stand up. Upon opening the door, you'll find a little chest. And in this chest is a passage to another area! Whoa! Okay, gotta be very sneaky in this mine here. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a late game area. I'm not really sure. I've never beaten Elden Ring. Even though I have did like a basic playthrough of it on my own. Oh, this is really difficult. Hold on. I'm getting shot by things. Okay. We made it through the mine. Hold on. Let me get this thing right here. It looks like there's a... We're gonna reset our stats though. Reset, or not our stats, but our health and everything. Magic, stamina. The sights of grace really help out for permadeath. Okay, rot grease. Now I already mentioned this character reminds me a lot of Bloodborne, right? Well, this area we're in reminds me a lot of Bloodborne too. Is this Bloodborne 2, the sequel? This is pretty different from any other area I've been to in this permadeath series. Probably the most dangerous area, so I'm really risking a lot right now. We got a little little town over here with these magical gates. I want to get... Oh, that is an enemy right there. Got to be very careful here. Hold on darn second. Oh! Oh, that is a big sword! Oh my... I'm about to die. No, 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 please. I just got here. All these wizards, they look like the Burger King. Get to the sight of grace. <sighs> that was dangerous. Yeah. Blood red skies, invisible ghost wizards who look like the Burger King. It's okay, though. Reset our, reset our, uh, our things up there. Stop by the shack beyond the southern gate. Alright. I went ahead and leveled up a little bit 
on my own. I haven't died yet. Okay, this is permadeath. Managed to get my way to the uh, the horse, which is really you just have to visit oh a couple different sites of grace and eventually the cutscene will happen and you'll get the horse, which uh, makes permadeath a lot uh, a lot easier. At least it makes travel a lot easier, which is good because that is a big dog. That is a big big dog there. This is a very dangerous area, and I don't think I'd be able to survive very long without the horse. This is the shack, though. Let's talk to this guy. Gowrie's shack. Hello, sir. A pleasure to see you. A pleasure indeed. Hello. Oh. I am Gowrie. Hello, Ga Gowrie. The giant dog is sticking its head through your shack. To ask a came along. A young tarnished. Okay, if I'll just I'm gonna just keep inching my way backwards. You have a giant dog head sticking through the wall. I'm not really listening to a single thing you're saying. Oh, that was the town. Yeah. Um, I'll hear your request. Sure, it'll give me something to do. Hopefully, get me away from the giant dog who's warping through the wall. Okay, I'll do my best, but um, there's a giant. Oh. <laughs> The dog killed him. What? Oh my. Okay. Maybe I am playing Bloodborne 2. I don't know if I want to listen to that guy's request. He's some giant insect creature in disguise. Get me out of this place. Hey. There's a merchant. Hey, merchant. You're like the only guy out here who's not trying to kill me. Oh, okay. Right to the point, I guess. Um, We got some new armor, but I don't have nearly enough uh, runes to get it. Um, can I sell anything? I have some gravity stone chunks, some rot grease. Uh, I think I have a, a rune I can use, yes. Um, who was that back there? You just stay over there. I'm bartering right now, I'm bartering, alright? Leave me alone. A flaming bolts, that's good for- oh no. A boss fight? Why is there a boss fight right by the merchant? Get me out of here. This place already scary enough. Oh, I found a map. Okay. That's cool. Get me out of here, dude. No. I'm not ready for a boss fight. I was just trying to talk to some, some kind merchant. What is that? I've never been this far before. I don't know what's going on. I've got two giant bosses coming after me at once. Get me out of here. This place is hell on earth. See, look at those nice golden trees. A dragon? What is going on? No. <laughs> Three bosses. I can't do this. Oh my gosh. No, this is this is all gone wrong. Okay, I, there's no way I can fight this thing. Get me out of here. Get me somewhere safe. This is this is too dangerous. Come on, horse. Let's get out of here, please. This is pure chaos. This whole area. Kaled. Just absolute chaos everywhere. Oh, that almost killed me. Fire. Red skies. Giant creatures and soldiers trying to kill everybody. Piles of bodies. Look at this. This is just absurd. Game looks beautiful, though. Very good looking game. Very scary game at times, too. Because, uh, man, oh man. Did I almost die so many times. The fact that I haven't died, I don't, I don't even know. I guess this castle's where we're going next. So many enemies around here. I managed to survive as far as I have been, which is probably the longest I've survived out of any of the characters in this permadeath challenge series, which is fitting for the last one that I'm doing. But... I've been able to survive as long as I have because I've been able to avoid so en so many enemies. I did involve myself in that fight with those soldiers and those creatures, but they were also fighting each other. I guess my point is, the deeper I get into this castle, the less chance I have to just run away. Red main castle. Okay, there's some soldiers there. My plan right now is to just be as sneaky as possible. I'm assuming there's like a boss fight in here or something, which is, you know... 
the main objective. I don't know if this is a main story area or not. I feel like if it was, I would have to complete it other things first, but... That is a dude with the flaming sword. Okay. Alright, gotta be very smart about this. Nobody has seen me yet, but with how that flaming sword dude is uh, facing, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sneak my way past this one. Hmm. Okay, I can get past that guy. Uh, I do have a spell where I can urgently heal myself, but I would have to, like, be in a situation... I'd be, have to have enough space to be able to do that. That guy is looking right at me. No, no, he sees... Okay. If you won't mind, I will just go down this ladder. Excuse me. Although enemies can follow me down ladders. No, get down the ladder. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wolf. Alright, run past him. This is not good. Oh my gosh, come on. No. Get that move. Move out of the way. Oh my gosh. I got one hit killed. Well, I guess that's it for the confessor. And for all the characters, actually. So here we have the results of my Elden Ring Permadeath Challenge. The Vagabond, 26 minutes. Warrior, 57 minutes. Uh, the, what is it? The Hero, 17 minutes. Bandit, 23 minutes. Uh, Astrologer, 25. Prophet at 41. Samurai at 50. Bandit at 7 minutes. And finally, the Confessor at an hour and 17. So... This was a fun way of uh, just, you know, exploring the different classes in Elden Ring and seeing what the game has to offer instead of just doing a traditional playthrough. I enjoyed it. Those are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well.